it's hard to know where to start when your entire business has gone up in flames. We just figured that it was, it was kind of like the end, you know what I mean? Dwayne Slim Hogan lost his entire towing business in the stockyard fire. Right now, it's just baby steps. He's starting with numbers. Right now, we're trying to uh, identify what is what, identify to get the exact inventory number. But he'll be back in business a little sooner than he expected, with help from a place you might not expect. He would help me out if it, ha if it happened to me. Lee Roberts runs Bluegrass Towing and Roberts Heavy Duty Towing and Recovery. We saw the smoke. Um, I contacted Slim to see if he was okay. We, we're competitors. Um, you know, we, we both do different things in the city, but we, you know, we, he comes to my place, I go to his place. When something like this happens, we got to help each other out. So Lee will let Slim use one of his trucks and give him some space in the bluegrass towing shop. Everybody's calling in and offering this and offering that, but to offer as much as he offered as far as a truck and a place to operate, you know, that hit me and, and you know, I didn't know how to actually take it. So I didn't initially respond because I, I, I didn't swallow. I had to swallow it. It shows the brotherhood in the industry is a lot stronger than rivalries. Some people get a bad image of the towing business. They're thinking everybody's bad, and they think all the towing businesses are salvages and nobody has hearts, but this right here is an example. People have hearts, and people have feelings, and people do care. In Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT.